I'm doing an impromptu bass trip. I was at home editing steelhead videos and I have a few hours where it's going to be nice. It's March 26, 2024. It's kind of early for bass fishing for Oregon, but I just needed a break. So let's go see if we can find a bite. I had one of my viewers ask, well, how do you get in and out of the boat? And that might seem like a simple thing. Now, if you have a boat landing, that's ideal. But like here, I just have this muddy bank and there's kind of about a one foot drop off into the little pond here. So what I do, I kind of get the boat close to me and I utilize the foot rests and I basically hold on to my seat and kind of push off. You want to make sure you don't have anything in your pockets. Everything should be stowed in your boat. You don't want to dump your phone or something into the pond. Okay, so let me demonstrate this. I just basically use the frame of the pontoon to, to get into the boat like this, and then I just simply turn around using the foot rests. First bass fishing trip of the year. All right, let's uh, put anchor down. So I'm gonna start with one of my favorite baits for pond fishing. This is a chigger craw, Crazy Legs chigger craw. This is, what color is this? Cinnamon purple flake, I believe. I've got a quarter ounce tungsten sinker and I let it fall right to the hook. This is a four-aught gamakatsu extra wide gap hook and I have this Texas rigged. I'm just gonna make sure that, oh man, that is sharp. Woo-wee. Okay. Let's check the tension here. Oh, that's too loose. There we go. Okay, first cast, first bass cast of 2024. These little rods I'm using, Loomis doesn't make them anymore, but they're old GL2. This is a 722, seven foot medium power, fast action. It's great for pontoon or kayak fishing because it's short. When I first started pontoon fishing, I was fishing a seven and a half foot rod and it was just too long. I would always cast way too far. All right, nothing on the first cast. I've got 12 pound test. Seeger fluorocarbon is leader. And I believe this is 30 pound test power pro, just standard moss green. I don't think I'd put 20 on it. I'd have to check my notes. So what I do is I let that fall and then I give it like a few seconds and then I kind of pop it a couple times. And then I just kind of work that all the way back to the boat like that. Like I usually pop it about three times. Let it sit, let it fall. I'm just kind of fan casting each, oh, I got some weeds on there. I'm just kind of changing the angle of my cast each time so I can cover as much water as possible. So I'm gonna cast more over this way. Ooh, right by the bank. Make sure my, ooh, my drag's loose. This is an old Corrado 51E. Just a little tiny Shimano Corrado they made. I think it was like 2010, 2011. It's paired up pretty good with this rod. So I don't need to cast that far. That's what the pontoon's for. All right, let's try something different. Let me try my Senko. The purple five inch Senko is an awesome lure for Oregon. It's got emerald flake. I just Texas rig it weedless like this. It's kind of torn up. I think probably caught some fish with this. Let me just flip it sideways. I'm just gonna put it in sideways so that it's not just getting pulled out. Lay it right next to the bait, straight through, skin hook that. Let's try the drag. Oh, that's pretty, there we go. I think cast a mile. So this is a 720. GL2 spinning rod. It's been an awesome little spinning rod. Both of these are one piece. Yeah, I just really like having the six foot rods for pontoon fishing. 
I don't even know if you can get six foot rods in. Oh, I got a bite. I got a bite. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, do I got one? Oh, I got one. Oh, it came off. It just came off. Came off the hook. It, I don't know if it had the actual hook. It just had the bait. That's not good, because that's... Well, shoot. Let's get another one on there. Well, that stinks. Let's try this again. The purple Senka. What was that, the first cast or the second cast? Nice. Man, I just want to get my hands on one of these bass already. I just love the fact that I can fish right here. <laughs> oh, that was nuts. Let's try this again. Yeah, I'm just letting it fall. Probably waiting like a five to 10 count and then I'm just snapping it a couple times so it pulls it up in the water column. Then I'm reeling down and just letting it fall. I'm just giving it just a slight slack line so that if it grabs it, I can still fill it, especially with this braided line fluorocarbon leader. Snap it every once in a while to kind of pop it back up into the water column. Okay. I think I got 15 pound Power Pro Super Slick on here. It's black. other camera on. I have a good feeling about this cast. I just lost one. Pulled my bait clean off. I don't think it had the hook. I think it just had the bait. Let that fall. Pop it up there. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Oh, man. First bass of 24. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a good bass. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this thing. you got to be kidding me. Come here, little man. Come here. Look at that. First bass of 2024. Oh, wow. That's insane. I need to get my pliers for that. It's out. It's out. It's out. Leave that girl in, her, in the net. I can't remember how much my net weighs. No, oh, I think it's on. I think it's on. Can it stay on? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, girl. Four. Four. Four, four. With the net. So she's probably just shy of four pounds. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're letting you go. Ready? Here she goes. Here she goes. Before she... There you go, girl. It's crazy. <laughs> it's awesome. Dang. <laughs> uh, I knew it. After losing that other one, I was like, oh man, that's a sharp hook. I thought, man, I, I just... I just have a feeling I'm gonna hit another one here. And I certainly did, that was a good fish. Here's my question, why do steelhead fishermen hate bass fishing? I started bass fishing probably about, oh I don't know, 15 years ago. I mean I did some as a kid, but 
I kind of wanted something to do in between winter steelhead season and summer steelhead season springer fishing so I started doing some bass fishing just in local ponds and it is so much fun. You can learn so much just about fishing in general from bass fishing. And the nice thing about it is, is you, I'm 10 minutes from my house. Some of the biggest bass that I've caught have been in the ponds right by Valley River Mall. Delta Ponds. I mean, I've caught bass up in close to six pounds in there. It's funny, this old symmetry reel, I think I had, I don't remember what the deal is with it. But this thing has been such an awesome reel. I think I just bought it as a bass fishing reel and 1500 isn't really a size that they make anymore. I guess you either have to go 1000 or 2500. I think actually there's some Vanfords in the 2000 model. But 1500 is a great little size for this particular rod right here. All right, let's pull anchor and move. Man, she got me wet. So John and I jokingly call this poison oak cove because all of these shrubs along the right bank are poison oak. Okay, I'm just gonna drop anchor. I've just got like a little five pound mushroom anchor on my anchor system here. I used to use like the grapnel style, but the problem with those is the it's just constantly getting hung up in the weeds. Can't believe I'm bass fishing. How cool. I was just steelhead fishing on Saturday. I'm going winter steelhead fishing tomorrow. The charm of fishing is that it's the pursuit of what's elusive but attainable. A perpetual series of occasions for hope. John Bucket. I use that in one of my steelhead videos. But it can apply to bass fishing too. Okay, let's move. I think I'm gonna go back into the cove. I'm not feeling anything over here. Oh, bat, fight! Oh, I got him, I got him! Another good bass, it's another good one. Get this camera started. Got him on the chigger craw. Got him on the chigger craw. Another good bass. That's probably about a two pounder. Hungry for the chigger craw, huh, brother? to get that out. Let's try that. There we go. Sorry, man. There you go. I just flattened the barb because I, I, it was kind of right through the jaw. I didn't want to mess with it anymore. 
So now I have no barb. <laughs> Let's retie. This is 12 pound Seeger salmon trout steelhead. It is strong, strong stuff. It's all I've been using for steelhead fishing this year and I have not had one break off. It is strong, strong, strong. Okay, this is a Gamakatsu extra wide gap. This is a four aught. So what I do is I take the back of my chigger craw. I just stick that in about, probably about a quarter inch and then pull it out. And then I'm gonna thread it all the way down. You can see it kind of has this little curvature right here just pull it to where it's hanging perfectly straight like this then you want to put that hook right next to the bait and kind of see where it's going through so it looks like it's almost way down in the head so I'm gonna put the hook point right through between the eyes just directly through so that that's hanging just like that and then I'm just gonna barely skin hook that so it's weedless. I'm gonna pull the chicker craw tails apart. Okay, we're back in service. All right, let's move. I'm just gonna, well, no, I'm gonna put this in here. I don't want a chance losing this thing. somewhere all right let's do chigger craw here what I like about the chigger craw is I can kind of feel what's going on I, I think there's kind of a spot where there's some gravel right in front of me right here I'm gonna throw it on the other side of the gravel I'm in the weeds now Okay, there I am. I'm in the money zone. Retired life. I fished five out of seven days last week. I overshot it, that's okay. Let's get right into this bed right here. Now it's nice and calm. Oh, bat hit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Under the boat, under the boat. Oh, it's a good one. It's another good one. Oh, that's so weird how they come swimming right at the boat. That's oh, another good bass. Look at that thing. I'm gonna net it just so I can deal with it just a little bit easier. Uh, it's not quite as big as my first one. It's got some sort of weird parasite hanging off of its back. Look at that. Look at that thing. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. sister whatever you are I get my pliers make it easier okay it's out it's out I don't want to wait I'm gonna see I've got that one looks like it's probably about a three pounder I'm gonna keep it in the water while I'm getting this ready Okay, here we go. I'm guessing three pounds. Oh, it's over three pounds. It's 315 with the net. 315 with the net. 
Oh, it's bleeding pretty bad. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna let you go. There you go. There it goes. Jeez! Two good bass. Okay, let's get things figured out here and get back in there. Oh, spring bass fishing. So much fun. Here we go. Let's try this again. The old chigger craw. So the chigger craw has two. The Senko has one. It's crazy. Is that a bald eagle or is that a... Gosh, I think that's a bald eagle. I'll be. Bald eagle and bass fishing. That's America. <laughs> I think I was just talking about how awesome retirement is. Here I'm working on steelhead video editing. And I'm like, you know, I'm sick of editing. I've been sitting here all day. Come out to the pond, catch three nice bass. The smallest was only probably was still about two pounds. Man, I tell you what, I was right on about the fishing conditions today. I saw that it was gonna be just a little bit nice, a little break in the rain. I think it's only like 55 degrees, but get a little bit of sun on the water, these things start biting. Okay, here we go. Sugar craw. Let's try to find another bass. Come on, give me one more. It's getting down into some serious weeds, I think. I wonder if my hook is cattywampus. Oh, there we go! Oh, I missed it! I missed it! Oh, no, my nose is bleeding. That was crazy. bass. <laughs> oh, I'm on the stump. Crap. Okay, I got it. I got something. Okay. Straighten that hook out. It's a testament to this line. 340. I'm gonna fish for about 15 more minutes. I'm gonna try to be off the water by four. Okay, here we go. Let's drop anchor. Let's try here. Last two raw. Okay, here we go. Come on, one more bass. The spring allergies are getting me. Here comes the rain, which was expected, I should say. There was just a window. Senko it a few times, and I gotta get out of here. All right, I'm calling it glass cast. Official glass cast. This is it. Oh, oh, oh. One of these times I'm gonna call last cast and catch a fish. But I 
felt the bump. Apparently not. I did. It was a hit and run. All right, there's the leader. Chances are slim now. It's happened. I've had him grab it like right at the boat. All right, that's it. I'm gonna call it three hours, five bites, three fish, a two, a three, and a four, approximately. So not a bad day.